Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown Battles. Today we have a Mega Kangaskhan team, which is ready to tear things apart. We confirmed in the episode, everything is valid, which means we can just click battle and we can enjoy ourselves for a bit. We see an OU team, to be honest. We see an Espeon, Excadrill, Gen... Not Geninja. Greninja. Ugh, can't speak today. Clefable. Ugh. Um, Skarmory and probably Mega Charizard. So... Honestly, KFC can get walled out by a couple of these. I think Kangaskhan is just such a perfect lead that we should just lead with it. He has no ghost types. That's basically what I saw, which means a free fake out on something. Wait, 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 wait. I am not going to be that stupid. Not a chance am I going to be that stupid. It's so obvious what is happening. We're going into... Is he swapping into Skarmory? He's not. He's just setting up a dragon dance. What? Okay, Arceus is coming in there. Um, that's really bad, but at least this thing no longer has the flying typing, which means it can be hit by Earth Power. Sure, this isn't the best case scenario for us. Sure, okay? That's, that's a freaking fact right now. However, we're gonna set up a Calm Mind. That did so much damage. We should have just spammed Recover. That would have been better. Um, oh, we are in such a bad situation already. All right, this thing's dead. This thing's gone. That thing is gone. I expected differently. That's all I can say. I expected differently. I went into this thing without really thinking about it, but actually, he's prob- he's- This was a terrible swap. Why did I go into this? He's gonna Dragon Dance on my Protect. Yep, that was incredibly obvious. I gave him a free Dragon Dance. Okay. But, he does not know I'm Focus Sash. Which means, he might take us down to our Focus Sash. We will go for the Reversal, and Reversal will kill him. Okay, I managed to salvage that somewhat, but at the end of the day, this is not good. He doesn't look like he has any priority. And we are in a position where baton passing would be useful. Clefable comes in. Which basically means, I'm baton passing this speed boost into our sizzle. Sure, it's not the most useful thing ever, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna set up a sword stance. I think this definitely has some potential. He can swap all he wants. Knockoff is still neutral onto pretty much everything. Skarmory's gonna come in. Yep, that's a fact. I wanna knock off this thing's item though, so this is fine. I can't get toxic, which is nice. He does have the stealth rocks. Okay, that's not too much of an issue. We're gonna set up more, um... Does he have Whirlwind? Oh no, 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 wait, 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 wait. We're going for another knockoff, because if Whirlwind is coming, I want all the damage possible. I was expecting Rocky Helmet, not gonna lie, because that thing gets access to Roost. There we go, there's the Roost, that's what I expected. We're gonna continue going for knockoff, because Whirlwind is coming. Roar is coming, same thing. And it would bring us into this. You know, that's just... That's just aggravating, really. That's all I can say about that, that's aggravating. I have no real Pokemon I want to go into. We can go into the Kangaskhan, right? I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm sure I haven't played this the best yet. We're gonna go for the Fake Out. Okay? We're gonna go for the Fake Out. Fake Out is fine. There's no negatives to go for Fake Out. The aim is to Fake Out this thing, bring it down low enough where a Power Up Punch will kill. That's the aim. Whether we can actually do that or not... Ooh, that does not look like it. Crunch is neutral. With a 20% chance to lower their defenses. Crunch is probably our best bet to kill this thing. But at the same time, he wants to get his health back with Roost, so we're power-up punching. We're gonna power-up punch. It should do some good damage. Are you gonna Roost? You're gonna Roost. Okay. Now, we are gonna Crunch, and we are gonna hope this does some really good damage. Maybe even get a defense drop on the first one. It wouldn't have been enough. Would not have been enough. 
and we are back in with the scissor, which should be able to finish this thing with a knockoff. Why do we not outspeed anymore? God damn it. He's roosting all the way up, we're swords dancing. This Pokemon is one of the most annoying Pokemon I have ever had to fight in my life. That's a fact. Right, this is where things get interesting at least. So, do we outspeed? I think we do. Do we lock ourselves into Water Spout? Yes. Yes, yes we do. We are Choice Specs, we can lock ourselves into Water Spout. He may think we're Scarfed because we went for Water Spout. That would be a very, very accurate thing for him to do. Generally, if you go for Water Spout, you are accepting the fact the enemy is Scarfed. That may make him bring in something he doesn't want to bring in. However, in reality, he could go into his Excadrill, he could go into his Espeon, he could go into Greninja, all of them would outspeed me and take some of my health away. So, he has options, he just might not realise it. Goes into the Espeon, okay, we're going for the Water Spout again. Goes for the Grass Knot, that does a ton of damage. Water Spout, this is Specs, but that's not going to do much anymore. So, that leaves us in a little bit of a predicament, really. Do we need this thing alive? No, we don't. We don't need that thing alive as much as... It's not the best thing to have going on, but... We don't need that thing alive. Let's think about the moves it's gonna have. Psy Shock, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball... I think Sizzle can come back in. I also think, um... Mega Kangaskhan can come back in. We'll go with Sizzle for now. We'll go with Sizzle for now. Do we still have the Sword Stance? Or do we just Bug Bite? We're si we still have the Sword Stance. If this has to be- Oh, this was good. This was good. Okay. What do you have to hit me with? You have an Earthquake, sure. Earthquake won't one hit me. We can go for a knockoff. I don't think Earthquake will one hit me. Rock Slide, he's going for flinches. No flinch for him. There we go. That's- he was Choice Scarf, okay. So that would have actually outsped. That's kind of scary. Um, we should just go for a Bullet Punch for damage. Does good damage, and it possibly broke a Focus Sash, so that's really good. As for right now, I feel like Genghis, I feel like Kangaskhan can deal with things when it comes to it, so. Kangaskhan comes in, goes for a Fake Out, Okay, fine. Fair enough. Happiness. Sure thing. We can power up punch onto this thing. Giratina can't do a whole bunch, so... We're gonna get to two times attack, and now we are gonna go for the return. That paralyze kinda sucks. But we're at times two attack. Special attack drop doesn't matter. We get fully paralyzed. Okay. 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 Return. Really? 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 Really now? That's- that's game. That's absolute bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. The luck in this map- he gets another special attack drop. What is this? Seriously, what is this? We're gonna go for the will -O -Wisp, but it's not gonna do anything to him. I suppose we should rest if we want any chance of winning. Not that we can win, but... <sighs> we'll rest. We'll get our Chesto Berry. We'll accept the fact that we're gonna get frickin'... Yeah, I knew he'd go for that, because he's that kind of player. He wouldn't just go to try and kill us. Why would he want to end my misery? I'm angry. I'm really angry. I hate these players that just run stall teams. Frickin' Skarmory and... <sighs> and we have been encored. Really? You've encored me into Will-O-Wisp? You really did that? Really? <laughs> the only way of killing this thing that we have is with the fake out. He is unaware. So actually, our turn would not have killed. Which is, is nice. It means that we weren't just completely bullshit, but at the same time, it's really annoying that any of that happened. 
So he flinches. He's probably going to go for soft boiled here because he's going to be that kind of player. We're just going to hit return. Oh no, he's actually going to moon blast. Okay. Either way, that was aggravating. I never wanted to do that again. Let's go into the next match. Jirachi, Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet, Aloma Mola. Oh my god, what is this stall? Azumarill. Probably their own Mega Kangaskhan and Azernius. Can't say I'm happy looking at these teams. Can't say I'm happy seeing Aloma Mola. I do not like that Pokemon. I really dislike that Pokemon. So, I'm gonna lead with. I'm tempted to lead with Blaziken, but Blaziken can't hit Azumarill. We're gonna lead with our Kangaskhan. Alright, okay, this isn't terrible. We can fake out this thing. Get some damage. So that's something. Fake out hits everything. That's the reason I went for it. Okay, he stays in, we get a fake out. That's good. Now then. This Pokemon is really, really annoying. We're gonna go for a power-up punch. Is he gonna start spamming Destiny Bond? He goes for a counter. Okay, this is good. This is really good. Crunch kill. Crunch kills. This is good. Okay, that's a really annoying Pokemon gone. <laughs> He probably expected me to go for just return and try and kill it, but that's fine. I'm fine with this turn of events. This thing is so obviously going for superpower. But at the same time, this thing is the thing that's stopping my Blaziken. So we're going to go for a return. Even if he went for superpower, he wouldn't outspeed. Why was I worried? Like, why did I even mention that? This thing's the troll. This thing is the troll. I agree. We're gonna crunch this thing. There we go. Okay, Mega Kangaskhan proving itself right here. Here we go. This is good. Comes in with his own Kangaskhan. I'm gonna go for a return because I don't know how much a return actually does to a Kangaskhan. Hammer arm. Standard Kangaskhan. Standard. Yeah, return would have one hit the Mega. That's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm fully expecting Geomancy shenanigans from that Xerneas that's last. Which is the reason why I'm thinking of swapping out into the Arceus and setting up some Calm Minds now. I'm gonna do it. We get toxic. Why didn't I expect that? Why didn't I expect that? I definitely should have expected that. Either way, we're gonna go for a Calm Mind or two. It's the only way we're getting through this thing. We're gonna go for a Judgment. He goes for a second Protect, okay. Judgment's gonna do a good amount of damage, okay. He's gonna Protect again, so we're gonna Calm Mind. We may as well get the bonus. Geomancy Xerneas is last. That's the only reason this team is in Ubers, is because he has the Geomancy Xerneas. But still, we get that nice, um, we get that increase. We can go for another Judgment. He goes for the Double Protect again. He just clicked Protect four times. That's all he did. He clicked Protect four times. That's kind of disgusting, actually. We should outspeed this Xerneas. We are going for a Judgment. We're going to see how much it does. It nearly kills. He goes for a Geomancy. We get taken out. We're gonna go into Scarlet. We're gonna hit Bullet Punch, and we should win this match, because that thing doesn't get priority. Okay, that match was a lot more comforting than the last match. The last match was close though, so I can't be that annoyed. That match was not so close. So, we're gonna do at least one more battle, because these matches have been pretty quick, I think. We see a Spiritomb. Oh God, we see three Dark types. Arceus, you're going to have some fun this match. You really are. Arceus, you're going to have a lot of fun this match. You have Earth Power to hit the Raikou as well. Okay, so as soon as Nido King is gone, Arceus is coming in to have fun. I can see there is a freaking 
Oh, there is a freaking dark cry, which means I'm gonna just lead with the Kangaskhan. Right. Right. Do we power up punch? There's no point, is there? He's gonna go for a will o wisp or something. We'll go for a fake out. It's free damage. <laughs> now, <sighs> will o wisp from Spiritomb is really obvious. This is easily his Mega Kangaskhan counter. But still, a standard fake out did 21% of his health. Return is a lot more powerful than fake out. And it'll hit twice. I'm confident a return's gonna kill. I'm an idiot. What am I doing? No, return won't kill if you click the Mega Evolve button, you freaking. <sighs> okay, okay. That was me being tired too early in the morning. That's all I have to say. That's all that happened. I messed up. End of story. Goes for a Dark Pulse. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna calm mind a little bit. We need to calm mind a little bit. We're gonna really hope that that Nido King is special. We're gonna really hope. All right, we are gonna go for a judgment on this thing. Why is this thing just called Arceus, not Arceus Psychic? Hmm, that's a little bit weird. Um, we're gonna try and break through Confusion and we're gonna go... Did it just start the battle time? Did it start the turn and then stop the turn? Oh no, I hit myself in confusion. Okay. I was gonna say. Um, we're gonna go for yet another judgment. As annoying as this is being, because he's running Confuse Ray. Darkrai comes in, please. Oh, Darkrai. Oh, Darkrai. Oh no. That did not work in your favor. That's the Pokemon I wanted gone. That and Nidoking. But still, we can hit Nidoking and Raikou with Earth Power, so. All right, Calm Minds are happening. This Pokemon I'm Calm Minding against. This Pokemon I do not mind Calm Minding against at all. What can you do? You can substitute. I don't care. I don't care. Earth Power. He has a lot of substitute Pokemon. Makes me think he's really gonna try something here. He's gonna Thunder Wave. Really? You're gonna Thunder Wave? How am I get paralyzed again? What is happening with the paralysis? This, this episode is the episode of just permanent paralysis. Did you just try and toxic me when you just Thunder Wave me? Are you... <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm angry. I'm really angry. Look at this guy. What is he even doing? He's just spamming Substitute. That's all he is doing. Where is the fun? There's no fun in that. Bye, Raikou. Die. I hope you had a terrible life. <laughs> uh, that may be too far, but still, this is getting ridiculous. We're gonna try and Earth Power the Nido King. If the Nido King goes down, it's pretty much a victory. Poison Jab is physical, that sucks. You could have done that a while ago, but goodbye. We, we are surviving. Everything left is not that great. So, I mean, we have the potential to win this right now. We're still gonna go for the win, which means we're going for recover, okay? There's no... <sighs> recover is the right play. I know we're paralyzed, but to be honest, another Confuse Ray Pokemon, another Confuse Ray Pokemon. What in the living hell is wrong with you? Confusion, Paralysis, Scald, Toxic. Do you have an attack that doesn't have a secondary effect that's gonna annoy me? <laughs> Cause I don't think you do. <laughs> Either way, is Recover coming? If Recover, if you go for Recover, I am gonna scream. Okay, you're not going for Recover. At least you have some sense. And we get a forfeit. We're gonna do one more match cause I don't think we've even had a match where I haven't been angry yet. Here we go, this looks like a match. We have... And that was the match. 
So, as always, Pokemon Showdown Uber's Battles is a pile of crap. If you guys have enjoyed this episode somehow, please leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out this channel, and without further ado, bye!